today I'm going to guide you to a creative studio. We are in uh, spring 2022. So this is the latest version of Creator Studio. Creator Studio is amazing because it allows you to schedule and edit posts as well as look at analytics on both Facebook and Instagram from your desktop. Keep in mind that you need to be either an editor or an administrator to a Facebook business page and you will need the login and password to an Instagram business account. So to start with, you go to facebook.com forward slash creator studio and you will see something like this. On the top, you have the different pages you are an admin of. Because we are an agency, we are um, we have access to a lot of pages, but you can unselect and select the pages that you want to work with. In this case, I will choose my own Catherine Aaron social media. You see on top, it says Facebook and Instagram. So you can go here and create new to create a new post. This is where you can have a look at notification insights and most importantly, pre-publish and published post. When you look at pre-published posts is where you will see your drafts and your schedule posts. And when you go at publish is where you will see all the content that you have published on your account. So I'm going to show an example. If I say create, I have all these options, create posts, create posts with test, add a story. You can add an uh, Facebook story, upload video, multiple videos. If you want to schedule lots of content, and go live or post a video across pages. If I go under create post, I have different options exactly like when you are posting on your normal Facebook business page. You can put your post at text and links. You have this little hashtag icon here where you can search some hashtag, you can save some and reuse them and so on. This is a really great little tool. You can also add little emojis by clicking this. So you would write your text and then you can add photos or videos, add a location and then distribution setting if you want to. Normally, I kind of don't worry too much about that. When you add a photo, you would click here, select your photos and put them on. And if you add a video, what I want to show you with the video, which I found is interesting, is that it's going to give you some option to optimize your video. You can put a video title, a description, change your thumbnail, which is super important. It's the image that people will see when your video is not playing. And often Facebook picks the absolute worst thumbnail. So make sure you pick a thumbnail, you can choose a frame in your video, or you can upload an image that you would have designed um, previously. You can optimize it with caption and you can click setting to edit your caption and look at video optimization and you can either publish or schedule your video. Um, so I'm going to exit this now for your photos. If I'm to add, say these photos here, for example, um, you will see that they each come, I can move them around and I can edit it and it will load a preview. You can also look at different um, previews here to see what it's going to look on desktop and mobile. So here you can add this, you can edit it, you can put an alt text and so on. Okay. You can also move the images around. And when you click the download arrow here, you will have the option to schedule or save as a draft. So saving as a draft is really interesting if you're working with a theme or if you want to start working on your content because you have a bit of time, but you don't, you just want to get the ball rolling type thing. Okay. So I'm going to close this. So this is all into create new post. If I have some drafts or some schedule posts, I will see them in the pre publish. So here I don't have any, but I'm going to select all the pages that we handle. So here, for example, for this account, we have this schedule post. I can preview it, reschedule it, click down the drop down facing arrow and delete, publish, cancel or cross post to Instagram. You will have this option to cross post to Instagram on the type of content that is suitable easily to switch over to Instagram. If you, this is not an option, you can always copy your text and create an Instagram post. And I will show you that in a minute. 
when you click cross post to Instagram, by the way, it's not going to show up. It, you have to switch to Instagram to see it. So for example, if I click this cross post to Instagram, go here, and then I will see it here, right? I have to switch over to Instagram. Discard. So this is um, insights and so on. Instagram account is what you click to add your Instagram account. When it's added in Creator Studio, you will have access to it. So I was first on Facebook. I could see my published post here. I can choose the one that I want to try to maybe um, edit, delete, and so on. And then my pre-published post is what we will use the most. Okay, switching over to Instagram, you go to this little tab and you can do the same thing. You click under create post and then you can upload content on Instagram feed. It says Instagram video to post videos that are 60 seconds. Now bear in mind that Instagram recently decided to remove IGTV, which is what they're talking about here, IG video and to put everything under one tab that's called video. So you will see in this little information icon, it says for now, please use Instagram feed to post videos shorter than 60 seconds and IG video for videos 60 seconds or longer. This experience will be unified soon. It is on, this, on mobile, however, on desktop, it's still two different options. But if we look at a simple feed, these are all the accounts that we manage. In your case, you'd probably have just one Instagram business account. You select it and then it's exactly like on your phone. You write your caption, add a location, add your content, and then you can click here to either publish or schedule. If I do a little test here, I would add a um, location. You can also tag businesses. See if I start tapping, it will, come up with the business, you can use hashtag, um, you start tapping and you have some options here, put your text and so on, location, it will prompt me, see Whistler, if I add my content, I put file upload and I could put my images, I can put one, two, three images, I can put a video and so on. Um, when you put several images, it will create an Instagram slides, like different images on Instagram that you can move around. You can move these images so that you see which one you're going to see first by changing the little number here. Um, so if I put one here, see it moves it around. If I want to crop this image, I can decide to crop it in different ways. Um, I kind of like sometimes vertical and Instagram because you see it even in a post. It's not always um, square when it shows up in people's newsfeed, but I can also leave it square. You can move it around and then save. See, now it fills it up. So you can go about that. You can decide to delete some and just keep one image if you wanted to. And you can also upload a video. Once you're done, you go in the downward facing arrow and you can schedule this post at the date and time you would like. Now, the difference here between Instagram and Facebook on Creator Studio is that it's not going to show on the left in pre-publish. It shows in post status all. You can look at publish, schedule, and draft on the side. So in this case, I would see my schedule post. Say I want to edit it or I want to delete it or view what it's going to look like. I can go here. In this case, I will just delete it. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is what happens if you want to edit the post. Say you realize that someone says, oh, there's a spelling mistake on your post on Instagram and you're on your desktop or you want to edit the text because you wrote it fast on your phone, you realize there's spelling mistakes or things you don't like. You can always go back to a published post and I found this to be um, a good thing to go about. So I go into all to come back to all my posts and you can always come here on the three little dots and you can edit an Instagram post that's already being published and it will edit it. I could go here, edit it, save my changes and it will show up on my phone and my Instagram account with the different edits. So this is a bit of a crash course to the latest of um, Creator Studio. This is a basic view. If you have any question, please be free to reach out to me in the comments on the YouTube channel. Make sure to sign up 
subscribe to my channel so you have the latest update and you always have the latest version of these and ring the little bell. I have a social media academy that teaches you everything you need to know about social media strategy, Facebook, Instagram, photo, video, and advertising. You can go to katherineair.ca under social media academy. Thank you so much and we'll talk to you soon.